Fixing ABS, check engine, or TPMS warning lights can be intimidating to many folks, but with the right tools and a little knowledge, it can be easy. Today we're going to take a look at the tire pressure monitoring system on a 2012 Mustang and make sure everything is up to par using a Snap-on TPMS 5. The bottom line is, if you can use a cell phone, you can use one of these tools. The first thing on the menu is TPMS. You're just going to put in what car you're working on and go ahead and check it out. The next thing on the menu is key fob. You can check your key fob. Play card adjustment. <clears throat> if you put in different tires, you can adjust your computer to accept those tires and then you don't have that TPMS light going on on the dash. And finally, verify any IDs or DTC code. So if you have a check engine light or a TPMS light on your dash, you can check it out with that option. Now we'll go back. Then we can update. It looks like it needs one update. This is wireless internet, so you can just update it from here. Settings, history, if you were working on any cars. And here's a car we were working on. Go back. And finally, training. It gives you everything you need to know on how to use it. A demo, troubleshooter. The demo is great. shows you exactly how to use the tool. It's like a YouTube video on exactly how to use the tool. The first thing we'll do is make sure all the sensors are transmitting. So we're working on a Ford Mustang. 2012. Starting at the left front, we'll use this button right here and hold it up to the sensor and press that button. And it says triggering sensor and it already read it. Now we'll move to the right front, then right rear and left rear. You can also tap it right here on the top of that little car. And it vibrates when it's when it's done. Here's a quick shot of all the information the tool picks up from each sensor. The ID, pressure, temperature, frequency, whether or not the battery is good, G, which is an accelerometer, and you have notes that you can put in. So let's take a look at the information that was picked up from each sensor by the tool. Here's the ID numbers. 36 pounds in the left front, 35, 35, and 35, so the pressure is good. Every sensor is working. The battery is good in each sensor. It says OK all the way down. And you can, again, insert some notes. So according to this, every sensor is putting out the information that it needs to put out. Other options under the TPMS menu item include the rotate function, which is used whenever performing a tire rotation, and relearn is needed. The tool tells you exactly what to do. So we'll press rotate, and it says, do you want to do it manually or OBD2 cord? We'll say manually and standard ignition it tells you exactly what you have to do turn the key on and off hit the brakes a couple time turn the key on and off then the horn will beep letting you know that the process has started the relearn function tells all the steps needed to put the vehicle in learn mode to relearn the sensors to the car's computer so we'll hit that and we'll do it manually standard ignition and again, it gives you all the instructions. Turn the key, hit the brakes and stuff, then the horn beeps, letting you know that it's relearning those sensors to the ECU. If a sensor needs replacing, the replace function can be used to program aftermarket sensors, view OEM sensor part numbers, as well as pictures of all sensors. And even though that seems hard, you would put your new sensor right here on the corner of that tool, then hit replace, and if you're using the OE one, it gives you instructions right here. It doesn't need to be programmed. Well, we'll go back. 
and let's say we did an aftermarket one you'd hit that then it says program and then create and we're just going to do the left front one or you can do any one but we'll go left front and then program now this is just a stem but if it was an aftermarket sensor it would be programming it right now and then it would say done when replacing a sensor it's often necessary to replace a valve stem also the service kit function easily guides you through it and finally you can save or email the information from each job. If you can use a cell phone, you can use this tool or others like it and diagnose and fix tire pressure monitor system issues. I hope you enjoyed this video or introduction to TPMS and if you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.